Hi my beauties, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be another Halloween tutorial and this time I thought I would do the look that I'm actually doing for Halloween this year which is a dead pinup look. Um, so I bought a lot of um, the makeup for to do the, the face and the, I got the fake blood and all that from the Halloween store here in town. So yeah, let's just get started. I have my this is my beauty blender and it's already pre-wet or pre-moistened because with this cake um this cake makeup stuff it's kind of hard to get on the, the sponge if it's not pre-moistened so i'll just get a little bit more wet now i had to do a little test on my cheek just before this started so i could see that it actually would work. So I'm going to take just take it on the beauty blender, make sure there's a good amount on there. And I'm just going to put that all over my face um, and down my neck. It doesn't have to be like a uh, thick, very thick layer. It's just to kind of make the skin lighter more dead look. No, this was I was either going to be a dead pinup or I was going to do the flapper look and um be the dead version of that, but since I already have the kind of pin-up dress from my sister's wedding, I just decided to go that route. Since I already have the, the means of doing that particular look. And it's pretty easy, so why not? Like I said, it's just a thin layer of white all over the face. Just to kind of take out the color. Trying to get a lot of it on the lips to kind of take out the color of the lips and the eyes. Now I still have a little bit of makeup on from earlier today, but that is totally fine. Actually it might help in the look. Just take it down to the neck so it looks a lot more real. Just really trying to get the lips to lose a little bit of the color. Okay. Now that that is done, I am going to go in and take this one right here. My, this is a blush brush and I have this kind of greenish brown palette here. And I'm going to just kind of take all the colors here and just go over my face with them. I'm just kind of like doing it in a circle in all four of them and just take it over the skin to give it a little bit more of a um like a gruesome dead look. You can actually get the cake colors for this, the cake wheel, but I couldn't find one at my local store, so I'm improvising. That's no big deal.
just kind of, you can dab it on too. It doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to, it can, it can look like it's just kind of on there. Not like you really care what you look like when you're dead. So. Okay. Now I am going to go into my my elf palette here. And I'm going to take my contour brush and use that black color that's in this and I'm going to take that and I'm going to hollow up the my cheeks because you want that sunken in look On the end of the hairline there. Just kind of blend that down into the sockets of the cheeks. And then the temples of your face, because that's also a more sunken down area of the face. just and then kind of blend that out Face is done. Now I am going to go in and do the eyes. What I am going to do is I am going to take this palette here from uh, uh, from Ulta, and I am going to take my crown double-ended brush, and I am going to use this silvery brown, or a silvery brown, huh? silvery gray color, and I'm going to take that onto the eyelids. And take it all the way up. Oh, 
Okay. Then I am going to go back in and I'm going to take this palette again and use the brown very lightly though. And I'm going to go into the inner corner here, like this area here where your dark circles would be, and kind of darken them up because when you're dead, that's what you have. You have a dark, you have dark circles. And I'm going to kind of enhance them a little. Just like kind of like a half moon shape. And just blend that out. And make it look more more realistic. You can darken up the corners of the nose if you want to. Kind of connect a little bit maybe. Connect it a little bit with a lighter shade. Okay, and then I'm going to take the same brush and take a little bit of the black and kind of just... Now this is just the regular pinup look now. This is more of the pinup makeup now that the kind of dead look is done. I'm going to do a smoky, smoky eye for a pinup. <laughs> The smoke you can get when you're dead. I guess. Okay. Now I am going to take, because I've already done my makeup, there's already a little bit of black underneath. I'm just kind of heighten that a little bit. And now I'm going to take my Ulta liquid eyeliner, and it's the felt tip, and I'm going to line the lid and wing it out, like the pinup, the typical pinup wing. Now, in my opinion, this liner does not have to be perfect because, like I said. We're dead. <laughs> so, and I doubt that the even the living dead worried too much about their eyeliner being perfect. Do as close as possible to the lash line, and then when you get to the corner, just add a wing. I am very bad at wings, so like I said, that's why I said doesn't have to be perfect at all. And then 
I am going to not really fill in my eyebrows all that much. I am going to use this end of the brush though and use a little bit of the brown and maybe just kind of fill them in a little bit maybe. Not all that much. Just kind of enough to know that they're there because mine are kind of invisible. So, and then I'm going to kind of dye that down a little bit. This and kind of smudge that out a little bit more. Okay. And then I am going to go back in with that black and the cheekbones and kind of heighten it up a little bit more. I really want that sunken in look. There we go. There we go. Okay, now I am going to take my, um, first I'm going to take my eyeliner and line my waterline. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Smoke, just to kind of darken up the waterline a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to do the lips, the signature red lip that the pinups always look or do. So this is a lip pencil in coral, and I'm just going to line and fill in my lips. Now I'm going to put a lip gloss over that. Sorry, that's going to use pulling in. This is one of my favorite lip glosses for the red lip look. It is one I bought from Maurice's in Apple Harvest. Okay, now that the the look is pretty much done, I am going to add the fun part. This is some fake blood. Watch out because it does stain your clothes. It does stain your hands until you wash them. So I got this at the Halloween store here in town. And I'm just going to kind of add it to the corner of the mouth a little bit maybe a little bit on my temple I 
got hit in the head or something. Now this is just the normal or uh, easy look. You could make this even more like gross and add a and like burns to your face or something. Sorry about the notification. <laughs> My Facebook going off. Um, that's what I'm going to do. Is I am going to add um, burns. I'm going to add some burns to my face and I am going to like add a cut and I'm going to have a stab wound here. But this is just the easy, um, the easier um, to go if you're really in a jam then you just use fake blood. It's just the same and it actually looks pretty cool. So, I kind of really like using fake blood. Because you can do pretty much anything with it. Okay. That, guys, is the completed look for a kind of like a 50s up but get dead look. Get the winged eyeliner and the red signature red lip and just hollow out cheeks anywhere where your face would be hollowed out you darken that up with black or a really dark brown and then don't forget to add the fake blood because the blood is what makes this look just even more cool. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's kind of long, but it's, it's fun to do. It really is. Um, give it a big thumbs up if you do like it, and comment below on other Halloween looks that you guys want me to do. Um, I will be doing a Halloween look every Sunday from here until the end of the month, until Halloween Day. Um, so just leave in the comments below on what you want to see and I will have it up for you guys as soon as I can. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't. It's the button right down there. And share this with your friends. I'll have a link down below to my Facebook and Twitter. Those are two are linked so you will be updated on anything that's going on with my channel. And I post on there very, very, pretty often. So you'll know what's going on. Um, and I wanted to add that this month is, uh, is October, obviously, and it's um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but it is also Spina Bifida Awareness Month, and that is a thing that is close to my heart because that is actually what I was born with. I was born with Spina Bifida and Hydrocephalus, and October is Spina Bifida Awareness Month, so that is why I'm sporting my pale yellow, because that is the colors or color of the ribbon. And also on my nails, I have I'm supporting both of them on my nails. I got the pink and the yellow for both causes. Um, so I'll have links down below to the Spina Bifida. Um, website and also the breast cancer website. Um, it's probably Susan B. Susan Coleman, D. Coleman. So if you guys could, you know, spread awareness about both of these causes, um, that would be awesome. They are very dear to my heart, especially this funny bit for the one. And I'm just trying to get the awareness out there and so people know actually what Spina Bifida is and how it affects people. So I'll have a link down below so you guys can go check those out and see exactly what I am supporting this month. Um, that is about it. I don't want you to forget that you are beautiful just the way you are, and I love you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.